we we'll start with the recording welcome back and then we are into the second session of this srp you know ssp so cell service procurement let me go on and share my screen so i was uh, discussing about it in this one now right where well, ah, it was a word file no i made a close direct so let me open the cell service procurement process so if a marketing manager who is sitting in the bombay residence he wants this material or the man who is sitting in madras and then very many places of the country they want some materials so it will be it will be sent to the supplier to the uh, location actually the residence basically and so there is no need for us to assign the items which are now created like these items will not be created off but in case if the man who is sitting in the manufacturing or need the material then we have to assign the item to the or so we will be doing both actually and then uh, vinay rangana was saying that you won't create an item at all for ssp you will be always be buying only on the what's called description based only right? you are going to see fine depending upon how they are doing it you have to do it vinay is uh, vinay rangana there are three vinays are there one is a vinay rangana one is a vinay raipur and then one is a vinay narula babre all the three are really very good actually <clears throat> all the three vinay <clears throat> that means what if you want to become a big man you have to change your name to vinay <laughs> <laughs> It should actually be be uh, before you start your name. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go there. Go hard on this. Now, since we are going to receive uh, the employees' residence, the expense account has to be set. We have to go there and set up the expense. Account. Click on it. We will not go there. We will not set up the expense account. So here, if you go there, what are the my client groups? Sometimes what happens is we are having as a hachara or something like that. I will not go to the my client groups and then go there and then go to the person management. So my client groups and person management are now set up the expense account. The expense account. This is required for automation. Actually. So my employee name is what? Uh, EMP two, comma space J ten zero J ten underscore. So last name comma space first name. That is the way you have to query now. Last name comma space first name. Enter on search now. I am going to get it. And then click on the hyperlink on this. Click on the hyperlink on the employee. And then here I am going to make a change of the assignment actually. We are going to change the assignment now, so I will not go inside. I will not change the assignment. So in the bottom, you can now see the expense information is there. If you expand it, there is no expense information at all. The default account is not. So this we are going to do it. Now. So this has to be done by what? Change assignment and not add assignment. We are going to change it now. So click on it and then go to update now. Right? Normally, you preferably perform an update. That is preferable. Action is what? Not add assignments. It will not come. Assignment change. If you do it, it will not come at all. Right? Assignment change, we are doing. Reason may not be. Reason may be optional. Right? Okay. So by which we are now going to make a change on the existing one. If you add it, it will not come at all. Again and again. Go there. So go down and then here. Now go on the, to the expense account. So I have taken the Calvin Roth's expense account. I also uploaded there now. So go there. So I have I taken an expense account, a default expense account. I have taken from Calvin Drop. Calvin Drop is a procurement manager. So from his account, I have not taken it because I don't know which account you have to put it open. So let me put the same account. So this will be you have to discuss the financials and then take it open. So since I don't have it, so in the vision we have a Calvin Drop. So I will not take a copy of the default expense account. There is a file actually. I have taken it up. Go there. I will not put it on this place. <clears throat> default expense account. I am going to put. So go there. Where is the expense account? Go on. Go on. Go on. <clears throat> expense information default expense account i will not paste it over here i give it up that's it thank you that's all that's more than sufficient now this is not required on this so the default expense account is set now go there go and then click on save and then we have to submit it up and click on save and then we have to review and then finally submit then only it will not get affected actually you know save thank you that so go to the review only when you review the submit will be coming thank you that click on save and then review it on review it will not say what are the changes you have made to this person now So it's kind of okay. There are some rules or things are coming. Doesn't matter. So then only the PR PO automation will be complete because without an expense account, we cannot create the PO at all. The PO's charge account will be missing also. So go there and then go down, go down and have a little bit of work. So you want us? So this is a change actually. The change is now reflecting over top and that's why the default expense account. So click on submit by which you know submitting it. Similarly for the employee three also, I will know submit is default expense account. So before he did it, what about the Atlanta? Atlanta, I see. What is the name here? Uh, Austin, <clears throat> Austin man. Area. What is his name? Pandian. 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 <laughs> Austin Pandian has asked this question before I did it actually. Good, good, good. 
that means what that shows the clarity which people are having it now and that is the excellent one for that i will open the last name for emp3 sir why we need to key emp3 is not going to create any transaction right huh? emp3 will not create any uh, no, no, category manager category manager category manager is not required right? these are no, expense of emp3 is uh, basically a bombay man and then catalog admin is a different one Okay. He is EMP two, and then he is going to be EMP three now. From okay. okay. We are going to perform transaction. So click on the hyperlink again, and then go on the what happens? Modify the assignment change actually. Go to the edit, and then perform an update, and then perform an assignment change actually. Drop it down. Assignment change the one. And then this is required for a PR to PO automation. Otherwise, automation will fail actually. Go down. Go down. Go down. And then the expense information go there, and then paste it over here. Give a tap. And simply say, if you are making any extra spaces or not, please don't do it. Now, fine, brother. It is a big one. Fine, brother. Save and then review and then submit. Don't make any mistake on the expense account. So you can take it up from this file. Actually, we have in this file. We have one default expense account on your directory. Fine, it is already uploaded. Fine, default default expense account. Either open it up and then take a copy exactly. Fine, brother. Default expense account up to the zero only. You take a copy. Fine, if you take an extra spaces and then you are getting an error and all. I don't know how to do it. Don't make any mistake. So there's no done. So give a review and then click on submit. We are reviewing this account and click on okay. 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 We are only putting it. So there are so many things we can update on an employee that we already seen. Right? Like uh, whatever your positions and other things also can be uploaded. But we are not very much worried about the positions and things because we are not going for upload. Click on submit. 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 Correct. This is not done. <clears throat> So we will now create what I was a BPA. Right? We are going to get a BPA. Your BPA will be created for what? Your laptop, your desktop, and then your visiting cards also. You are going to get a BPA. Your blanket purchase agreement will be created. So he is a procurement man, and so he can very well do it. Now, I have made him as a procurement agent also. This is all completed. So we will now make a BPA. Now. So we will now make a BPA. So click on the home icon, and then go to the procurement, and then we'll make a BPA for all the three items. So go there. So we will now go to this place. And then here, I will now go to what you are procurement, and then go to the purchase orders. And then we are now going to make a blanket purchase agreement. So it normally happens like this only. We go there. So uh, default expense account you want. So for very many items, they will know the purchase officers will be discussing with the what's called with suppliers, and then they will have a blanket coverage. Let's say the laptop. When I was an Oracle, we used to, we are having twenty four thousand employees in India alone. So we had a blanket agreement with the Dell. Dell. So Dell was not below Oracle actually. Now only they have purchased it. So Dell has given a blanket or as a discount of forty percent because these laptops will now retire every three years, and so there will be a continuous consumption. And so Dell has given a forty percent discount for all the laptops for Oracle employees. So when they go and then shop, let's say the laptop was at the time sixty-five thousand rupees. Apply the forty thousand rupees, forty to twenty-four forty percent. So it will be uh, for me. It will be only forty thousand rupees. I thought of even buying it for my friend, but my manager refused to approve it. Now, actually, I know, I cannot approve multiple. Uh, so uh, I want to give it to him, but uh, I say only one laptop per employee. Only after three years, I can buy only one laptop. So that way, it is there. Actually, if, if the Oracle, if the manager says yes, nobody will stop you at all. Right? Manager is ultimate authority for anything. <clears throat> So this way we go. So they give a very good discount. You want to want it? We'll now make what? Yeah, <coughs> create create agreement. I know what is an agreement. So let me create an agreement. I'm not going to have all the three items. Right? One is the two are inventory items, and then one is the description based. Right? I will now go to what ABC Consulting. <coughs> I will now go for ABC Consulting. So we'll be having a site supplier. Everything is coming now. <coughs> We are not discussing anything on the procurement because we already said, uh, discussed a lot on some actual concrete. We are not creating it. So an agreement is now getting created. We are not going to get an agreement. Uh, you should be an employee one login or uh, anything is fine. Agreement will not have any organization first of all. Okay. It is not org specific. It is for all orgs. No, 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 buyer. The buyer login. I think the login is PRC eleven. Eleven is a buyer. Actually, I've already made it. Okay. I've gone to procurement agent and then I've added him as a buyer. That's why we are getting. Otherwise, the procurement view will be absent. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So I have already made the PRC 11 student as a procurement agent actually, and I already made it. So that's why this is not coming. I don't go that thing or plus. I'm going to add first of all the laptop. So go there. Item is what? J10 underscore LAP. So LAP is running on the thing. Not coming on, you know. So we are given a price of ten dollars, so that will be coming on, you know. Item by price will be coming. I'm not touching anything on the price as well. So that portion we are not going to come. So it will come, but, but price is not coming. I don't know why. So sometimes it doesn't come at all. We will manually populate it. And then I'm going to give a big limit so that what happens? We will not be having any. Please, 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 I think when you place the POs, it can be. I'm now I'm muted. Fine. Now you open up on your mic and speak. Tell me. Yeah. I, I think uh, it is not defaulting to the agreements, but uh, to the orders it will from oh, item oh, oh. Maybe he's saying, Pandian is saying, in the agreements it is not defaulting, maybe in the order it will not default. Okay. I don't know why, why so? Because agreement is all about the supplier and the price. You are actually negotiating so price. In this. At least it should default now, fine. Uh, the, the, the explanation, I am not satisfied now. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, okay, the explanation is not satisfactory. Okay, it should be for uh, the PRC is an implementation user only, right? So it's not a legal user to create a BPA. PRC 11 is a legal user. All the PRC 0, 1 to 50, 40, everybody are legal users. Fine, that point. I don't duplicate it and then show it to you. PRC 11 is a legal user. And a legal user is only can able to set up right now. Exactly, yeah, yeah. He's all legal users. Fine, what is that up and, and there is a concept of what. The, uh, the security console users can also be used as a legal user, no, fine. But I couldn't understand the manage percentage. User percentage, right? Manage users. I meant to learn that now, right? In one of the my students' implementation, they have a security console user and they are using it for complete SCM actually. I was wondering, hey, are your user is not available. I was there. Uh, I will also say student, student, and then PRC, you know, say 0 1 to 40, everybody will be coming. All are implementation users. So I know. Student so, another PRC, FAS, and the thing is coming. What is the PRC means? This is also coming. I will not put PRC 11 over. Okay? PRC 11, I will not put. I will make a search. Okay? They are all legal users. And everything is legal users. And then here, if you go and then search for SCM underscore IMPL, right? he is not a legal user, but he can very well prepare everything on this one. They have already tied. Right? This is maybe by a role, I think. A role can even make a, uh, what's called your. Security console user as a legal user also. So that way they have done that portion. The security itself, nobody is teaching me properly. Everybody will not give something here and there, blah, 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 and then they will escape. Bhavari. When I ask some questions in the deep, they will go away. How to, what happens, I make the security console user to perform all the ACM transactions. It's all there in the document, but document is also blah, blah. Right? Very, very difficult to understand. Okay, we will not leave with it. Okay? Uh, sir, here in the business, who will create agreement by employees only, right? By what happens, the catalog admin only. Catalog admin, okay. Catalog admin has to create it. Because he is not creating all the things. He is supposed to create. He will be a, what's called a, a procurement manager also. So, that okay. be, so if you go there. So here, the catalog admin has to, what happens, decide and then do it. Or if you have a procurement manager separate and then catalog admin separate, the procurement manager will be creating the BPA. And then catalog admin will now set only the catalog part. It all depends upon the company's uh, what happens if you are this thing. While implementing it, you only will now do everything. Remember, if you are doing it, you will be the only consultant to implement it. So you will now set up all the POs. You will now set up all the catalog admin part. Everything you will only implement. And then you have to hand over to the what happens the, the top users to find. So the in the in the end client, let's say reliance message you are going in. So you have to find out the super users and then hand over these things to them. Again, in real implementation is all really really difficult. Different. The questions of so now I have no added this item and then uh, Pandian is saying that because of an agreement the list price is not coming. Okay, fine. I'm not satisfied with the answer. What to do? Fine. You may be correct also. I don't know. Click on edit. I'm going to edit the line. In the line, I'm clicking on the edit and then I'm going inside. And then I've given a very huge amount. So that whatever you won't be getting any problem with the limits. Basically, limits will not come into picture. Also. Long description. I will not say J10. <coughs> right. uh, laptop. I'm ready. Supply item auxiliary. Identify item auxiliary supply URL. I will now put my URL open here. <coughs> dot com. Manufacturer is what 
I will not say Oracle. And then manufacturer URL, I will not put the Oracle.com. You have to fill up everything. Okay? Manufacturer part number, I will not say 125. I'm putting it. This item is having a manufacturer. Attachment URL. This is the place where I am having a doubt. Okay? So I will not go to space. Attachment URL. It is not asking for URL. Okay? I have a, what's called a, two things now on this. Okay? Let us not take an URL on this one. I will not take a URL. Okay? I will not go to my website. Oracle.com slash images. You can also go to the uh, capital A. Right? Capital A images. I know that word. So here I have an attachment doc. If you click on it, what happens? It is not downloading this file. The doc file is not getting downloaded. I don't want it. I have a J JPG file. So you click on the JPG file, and then here you'll be having what? One URL. Only a JPG file is now giving me a URL. So let me put it now because that I am unable to put it now. So I'm putting it now. You also use the same thing for all these things for all your activity you can do it. Now. So you want to go there. Do that. So here we have to go to what? Where is the place here? Where which place? Come on. Edit document. Yeah, this place. I will not put the JPG image now. Attach one. I'm not putting it. Alias name. I will not say laptop alias. And then lead time. I will not say six days. And then UNPC. What is this UNPC? I don't know. Somebody know it? UN yes. UN uh, yes PSC. Yes, PSC. I'm not putting it. Image URL. So for the image URL, laptop image URL. I will not say it is going to be in the and let us not put the item image now. Okay? Let us not put the item image. Okay? I will not go back on that. Let me put the item image now. Laptop item. Laptop item. I will not put it. Okay? So I will not take up the laptop item image. Take of it. I will not put on this image. So I have to go to this place now. Edit. So I will not put the image URL as item here. Thumbnail URL. Thumbnail image is also here. We can even go for the thumbnail. Okay? Go back one level. And then you click on the thumbnail directory. You click on the thumbnail directory. So you'll be having a laptop thumbnail. Fine. Click on it. I will not choose this thumbnail image. Fine. The top you have. So all of you can use my website because everything is already uploaded there. So, what, so having done this, we go to the edit and then put the thumbnail image. Over. Availability. I will not say 120 cold is available. Rounding factor is let us say 0.6. Fine. If you want to round it, you'll not do it. Okay. Comments. I will not say laptop comments. So there are many fields which are searchable here. By one of the fields also, you can very well search it. When, when the requester is not doing it. So certain fields by which also you can very well search, search the laptop. Actually. That's it. So you know, given this, so this much, I'm not going to do only on the laptop and not on the other one. Desktop, I'm not going to fill up all these things. So only the image URLs, I will not fill up on that thing. Uh, image URL, thumbnail image, and then the attachments, I will not do it. Now. So uh, what are the other things I will not set? So on the laptop, it's not done. So everything is now set. So go next one. Click on okay. Now. So the laptop is now made. Give a save at this time. Whenever you are creating it, whatever you give a save. 52286 is the number five. I will not go to the notepad. Okay. I will not put 52286. Okay. So 5286 is now done. <clears throat> so all these things are now done. So we are not completed all this. Thing. So we will not add the second line. Desktop, I'm going to add. Click on plus one. I'm not going to add desktop. It is a JTEN. Let's go D and then give it as. So we are not giving it that. I will not say put the price is $20. And then go there. I will not click on the AD take on the line. Edit. So here I will not fill up the other ones except the images. So attachment URL. I will not put the attachment to over here. So I will not go back. Uh, is a thumb line. I will not go back on lower level. Images. I will not go to the attached to JPG. No. Attached to JPG. Uh, that, that's really, that me, that's Maybe I, I had missed why we are filling these attributes. Uh, they are all basically searchable attributes, actually. They are searchable attributes, and then we will be able to search on this also. When you give it, the requester can search on one of the fields. Basically. Many fields are searchable, actually. So it is now giving you more information for the requester to take a decision about whether to go or not. Right? So one way, it will all be visible on his uh, uh, shopping cart. When you go and then query on the shopping cart, everything will be visible for him, and then he can now make an informed decision for this. Okay. Let's stop. Alias. Lead type, I will not say eight days. I will not say UN. Yes, PC. UN, yes, PC. I will not say two, no. Image URL. I will not go there. 
I don't know what the image URL for that. What's called your desktop open. I don't know. No go back. Images. I will not click on that item. My desktop item. I don't know it. So I will not take up that items email. No kind of like what. No go there. Click on this. On the edit account edit page. I will not put this over here. Okay. <coughs> thumbnail. Thumbnail. I will not go there for. I will not go to thumbnail. No. So go back one level. I will not go to thumbnail directory. Okay. I will have a desktop thumbnail. Okay. So this is the thumbnail you might find. Take copy. And the, I will not put it on this place. Thumbnail you may not put it on. The remaining I will not give you. So one available URL, and then uh, your image URL, thumbnail URL, I'm setting it up. Okay. So click on it. Right? Only for the laptop, I have given a lot of information. Click on OK. Now I'm going to add the descriptive one of a Vinay Rangan. Okay? He was asking, and I'm not going to add a descriptive one. Click on this. The third item will be for a descriptive one. Okay. So it will not be a goods, and then it will be fixed prices of this, which is based on amount. Okay? So fixed prices is number one. It is not quantity based. So there are two bases: either amount or quantity. I will not choose amount. Fixed fixed prices services is the one I am going to choose. Fixed prices services I am choosing. It. The item will not come again for that. I will not say Jaden. Let us go. Visiting cards. Right. Visiting. Let us go. C A R D S. The V and C are. I will not keep everything small. I will not be confused. So it's a V A. <coughs> S I T A N G underscore C A R D S cards. So I will now put the category. J ten. <coughs> I have forgotten to create a category also. So let me go and create a category. I have forgotten to create a category. So I have to create a category. Also. So let us now create a desktop a visiting card category. Also. So what is the setup and maintenance? In this place, what happens? At least you give us save now at this stage. And you say it is accepting now because okay, it's not available now. So it's not allowing you. So go that you want it. You will now go and then what? Manage functional cut. Manage functional cut off. So let us now create what the category for the visiting cards. Go this place and then query for the purchasing. So click on it. Let me create a category. Click on it. We will be creating a category for visiting cards. And remember, many of the items will be description based, category based items. Click on plus one. I will now say J10 underscore VSI visiting cards. <coughs> I am creating it. I am now creating a category of visiting cards. I will take copy it. And then click on the category code. It will be coming automatically. Remember, it, you should not do anything at all. And then click on OK. By which one of the category visiting cards is now created. Let us now add the image also. I will now go to the details on the right hand side. Click on plus now. I will now add the visiting cards. One now. So go there. Click on choose a file. And then we already have it. I will now go to the images directory. And there, I will now say visiting card category. Go down. Visiting cards category. Visiting cards category. I'm going to add it. So once it is coming, I'm putting the description title actually. <clears throat> so visiting card category is now getting uploaded. I will now say visiting cards. Category. So let me populate it on the description also. Okay. okay. So you can see visiting cards category is now coming. Here. So click on save and close. You know that. So once it is done, what happens? We will now associate this category in our area. Click on the edit document. So we will now say J10. You have the three categories have to come. So we click on it. Three categories. Click on search now. It now come for the visiting cards. So for the visiting cards, I go to that. I will now say the price is one dollar. $1. Again, only the images I'm going to add now. So is a description based one. Fine, go there. So is one dollar. I will now click on the edit. No. Edit again. You know? The edit icon. Fine, go there. Come. I will now say attachment URL. So I will now put attachment two only. Fine, go there. Attachment URL is there. So let me go there and then find out the attachment URL of this. One. Go back. I will now go back one more level. I will now attachment two. I will now put it. That JV. I will now put. I have not made attachment three actually. I will not put the attachment. You will see, but how it's coming? I, I don't know. Even I just making it only. I am also even not very sure about it. So if you put the document file, it is not coming at all. Everything is okay. Long description is what we see long. You see, long is the one I am putting it up. So go there. Image URL. I will not go there. Image URL. I am going to put up. So go back one level, and then I will know visiting cards item. Visiting cards item is image of it. So I will not take up the visiting cards item image. Go to this place. I will now paste it over here. And thumbnail image also we need. Now go back and then click on the thumbnail. I will now choose up the thumbnail image as well. 
visiting cards. Visiting card thumbnail I've already created for that. So we'll not take a copy of that thumbnail image. So we'll go there, click on it, now paste it. So when the images I'm putting it up, so images and then URLs, so the only image URLs I'm not actually copying. Okay, okay. Sir, is this so UN SPS serial used for e-commerce gateway, sir? Ah, 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 ah. E-commerce behavior, you're saying, okay. UN... Yeah, e-commerce gateway mapping. That time we used this one, UN SPS code. The e-commerce gateway, you need the UN SPC code, actually. Okay, good. That's it. So everything is now done. Now fine. Give a OK. Give a save at least. Okay, save. So 52286 is the BPA number actually. There is a BPA number. BPA number. <coughs> Go to space and that. So is there any other thing which is missing on the sofa? So we have given everything. And then afterwards, what happens? You go to the controls and then how it normally controls will all be enabled now. The control will be coming enabled. So this is okay. The automation notification time, this much is okay. So you see, and then it does not submit it. Before submitting it, we'll know how it went. And the approvals of my duplicate, whether it is no automatic or not. Now make a check of it about the approvals now. So click on it, go there. And then I go to the setup and maintenance. And then we'll have a look at the approvals. So click on search. But manage document approvals. So go in place, whether it is no automatic or not, or somebody has there. Change it, it will not change it to automatic actually. Because once when you approve it, it will not again come over the lock. You will not go to the edit rules and then have a look at it, whether it's not automatic or not. Go down. So, here, uh, two are enabled. Now, that. This is basically for a particular BU, so it will not affect us. Now, go to this place and then see. So, this is also BU specific. Let us now make one more. Now, the generic one will not make it. So, these two will not fire for me at all. Okay. Use one. Okay, this is a use on business in the US one business unit is okay, man. It's automatic. Man. Good. So the US one business unit is automatic. So ours is US one business unit. So this is sufficient and nothing to be worried about. Right? It also make your answer. Come back. It is also enabled. Fine. We will not submit this. Click on submit. So once when you submit, five two to eight six will be getting approved. So ours is also US one business unit. So we are submitting it, and then by this process, what happens? Very better. The document is approved. So you know, wait for the document up perfect. That will be getting up perfect. That that process is not going. So once when the approvals are complete, we will have to go to what your cat admin and then start to configure your catalog administration activity. So from a procurement perspective, we are now created the agreement. You know, go on and have a look at the agreement again. So go there. I don't know what. Go on and have a look at the agreement. So go to the manage, manage agreements now. And then five two to eight six agreement. We'll see whether it is approved or not. So, from a procurement manager, this activity is now complete. And remember the field who is going to create the BPAs and all that you only have to decide whether the CAT admin will be created or a procurement manager will create that you have to make a decision. Action did So, it will take some time for it to go in the process actually. And then that will be getting up. 5286 is now undergoing change now. It is not done. So, application developer, everybody has approved. Task is also completed. So, click on the now. Find now, you now see an open thing will be coming on the other one. Now, our real activity of SSP is going to begin now. The cat admin is now going to do it. Click on the now. So, 5286 is on. Now, the cat admin is now going to do it. So, we will now go there. So before which, what happens? We go there and then have a look at the configure requisitioning business function. Okay, on set up and maintenance. Before we go out of it, we know how to look at the configure requisitioning business function. Click on it. Go there. You know, click on search. You know, go to what? Configure requisitioning business function. It has to be operation sector. It must be pointing to the master. Here's one business unit. Okay. You know, find that it is wrong. I don't know why vision is now they are setting it up like this. No, this is really very bad actually. We will not try to change the operations. Okay, no, OP or EAP. See, it is not found at all. I will tell you what will happen for the uh, uh, for the Seattle lecture. Right? I will now uh, demonstrate the problem for you. I will now go that period. I will now create an item. I don't know why vision is not doing like this. You see, even from field also, 
uh, and then yesterday or uh, two two days previous because what happened jyoti was also reporting the same problem they have also configured it the same mistake is happening i told n number of times and then not to do not to do people are fancy to do i don't know why you go to the product manager i will not show you how the problem is going there let me create a test item i am going to get this one. that was pointing to cetl remember cetl 001 or i will know assign it to 003 or we will not see whether we are able to create a requisition or not in the next moment we no go that we want to go to the create item i will not create a test item and again this is mainly i am demonstrating it what please do not repeat in the field now in the production instances people used to say sir it is not coming item is not coming on the request ara babri what did you do fine you go and then check in your uh, configure request in mother it is not my master all sir oh god because i am unable to populate my master that is the problem jyoti was also saying i am unable to populate the master j10 i have not said not j10 i have not said simply test one now so test one the one item getting the other one i will not wait no problem so nothing i am not going to give anything at all i want to have the item to be populated i will not go to the associations let me associate the third org third org is chicago what is the self net what is the third org 003 vision they are making this mistake i don't understand so i selected and then apply that you know Eight to ten guys in the past five years has reported me this problem. Now it is now associated with zero zero two. Fine. Test one is the item. Fine, go there. Click on it. And then this item will not appear on your requisition at all. Test one will not appear at all. It is not done. So we will not go and then create a requisition. Click on. We will not go to the purchase requisition. We go to the procurement, and then I go to the purchase requisition. <clears throat> PRC eleven is the one we are not doing it now. So go to the more more task. First is what update requisition preferences. You click on the update requisition preferences. And now you are getting the destination type. Whereas for my user, you will not get it now. Fine, you have to give the answer again. No go there. I will not make it as a Seattle only. Subsidiary is not a mandatory fine. It's not okay. Seven close up. Let it be Seattle actually. You know, okay now. And then I will now go and then create item for test one. If you go there, go to then go to the enter requisition line. Your item will not appear at all because there is a validation or people don't understand that. If you put test one, it will not be appearing at all. <clears throat> so good that the problem came now itself now. Right? So there are which one is validation or this one? You go there, click on it. I will not open it up. Open it. I will not click on that. <clears throat> Configure procurement business function. I want to get requisitioning business function. I will do. Configure requisitioning business function. Go there, click on it. Go there, you just want to do it. And then click on OK. So this is a validation org. Items in this org can only be purchased. Remember, so go to this place. Go there. Test one. I am going to put it. Now, when test one, when it is going to tap, item not found. It will not say. Item is not found at all. It is not in Seattle. It is in Chicago. Sorry, now. Now I go there and then change it to. Uh, what happens in this place? I will not change it to what Chicago. So let's say Chicago. I am going to make a change. Zero three Chicago. Go there. Click on it. Save and close. Now item will appear. Change the save. I am going to click on it. In this place, you go there. Test one. T yes. Then go there. The test one will be coming from the tab. Maybe it must have got T E S. I will make a search. Otherwise, I have to go and then again make it. Otherwise, I have to log out and log in. So the thing is coming. I will not give a demo and then come out of it. <clears throat> Now the requisition preferences has to be properly set. Right? Go there. You go to the place and then you go there and then you go to the update requisition preferences. Go there. So let us now change it to Chicago. Chicago has to be changed. It is a complex business. Go and then save and close and then go there. Click on it. You go to that. It's called more task. And then go to the enter requisition lines. We put test one. Test one will be coming. There. Item is coming. Let me do one thing. I will now go to this place. Let me make a change to what you are uh, uh, configured because let us now change it to what Seattle. Let us now make a change to Seattle. So what is it? Configure requisition. Let us now default. What is this? configure requisition? It is not your view. Oh, it is not. I'm <laughs> being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about what is this now? It is not my B U S. So let us now change the B U S. Is the U S one? Let us now change it to C F L. C F L and we change it. 
Click on save and close now. But why master arg is not coming here, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is another problem. So there is a combination here. We go to this place, and then here I will not give it. That is no CRF. I give it now. Now I have changed it to this. Now I go that one. I have not changed this. I have not already changed it to Chicago. Remember, the preferences has been changed to Chicago. The preferences has been changed to Chicago, and that is pointed to the one. Click on okay. Now here you can see the update requisition preferences is now showing to Chicago. So it's not done. So give a cancel now. <clears throat> you go to the more task and then go to the enter requisition lines now. It is not Chicago. I will not. What happens? The populate it from the T S. <clears throat> it is coming. But sometimes what happens? It will not give a nakra. It comes over here and then somewhere some problem will be coming. So some problem. See the source organization for the given destination type cannot be determined. Something 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 is not coming. So some error is coming. So actually, if you make a change, then it will not come at all. I will not go there. I will not change it to what. Now, uh, now the uh, default we put Chicago. So I think that is the problem. Like the, the requisition oh, and the different. The problem. the problem is not that now. So here uh, the problem is different. Actually, <clears throat> the problem is different. It is not saving it. Fine. Then the other is the problem now. Now let me go on and make it a Chicago. It will work now. If I make a change to Chicago, it will work now. If you go on and change it to Chicago, it will work because it is validating. It is a validation org actually. Chicago, if you make it, it will work. But it will not give any error at all. So go there. It will not give a seven. <clears throat> so if you go to the shopping area and then here we have already set it up to what Chicago. This place Chicago. I know that. So I will not give a cancel. And if you go to the requisition line, now it will not create any error at all. This is there. And then. If you give a tab, what happens? It will not populate the remaining fields automatically without any error. Previously, what happens? It is not showing an error actually. Now, okay, again, some problem is coming up and click on the no. We have to what happens? Uh, come out and do it. So the the problem I will tell you really. You have to populate your master org over here. In this place, you have to populate your master org. So that validates. It is just a validation org. So if you don't populate the master org, it will not be working at all properly. Many people report it. That what happens? The right item is not visible at all. Here to model the one. Master. Chicago and Seattle are uh, child dogs. Master org. They are child dogs. Okay. Master org is operations. I, I just want to confirm what mm -hmm. you have done. Means you have created one item and assigned to Chicago. Yeah. And then you uh, in the requisition business you function. Put Chicago is coming. And then if you put Seattle, it is not coming at all. So here. Every item will be available in master. So master org is what operations O P E R E A T A operations O P E R E A T I O. And then if you see operation is not found at all, mainly because that has been created as an item org. You should not create as an item org. Ask Jyoti. She has also. Ah, uh, Tara, you are that spelling mistake. O P E R. Spelling mistake was there, Nana. No? What is that? O P E R. If you put R A, it will not come at all. O P E R A. Whatever you put, it will not come at all. Operation. Can I use a triple zero? Triple zero also will not come. I'll tell you why it is not coming. Jyoti is already suffering because of this. Just see, she is unable to create any requisition at all. The self service procurement requisitors are not able to create anything at all. I will tell you what is the problem. So here they have all created this as an item or manage item or manage personnel. If you go to inventory or it is not there at all. Operations will not be there at all. Go to the manage inventory or the operations or will not be there at all. If you go to the organization zero 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 at the right query, you won't find an organization like zero 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 at all because it is not an inventory org. Zero 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 is a is not an inventory org at all. So there is an advantage of item org. So you should you should search for item organization. Ah, item org. But there is an advantage of item org. Item org means what? You cannot get submitters at all in item org. That is the only advantage. So you go to the manage item org, it is there. But it will not stop you to do everything. What is the advantage? We will not create any sub inventory in the master org, even if I am allowed. This is meant only for CRM module and not for us. There is one retail is there in CRM. CRM is going to use the item org, and then these guys create the master org as item org. Jyoti, are you clear upon this now? Jyoti. Yes, sir. yes. Jyoti. Jyoti is already having this problem. Why people have created the item org? Now let me convert this item org into our inventory org now. Select it and then click on edit now. I'm not going to convert this org into an item inventory org. So it's item management. Drop it down. 
I will not change it to the inventory management. Now it will work. Now I am not changing it. I don't want inventory management. Fine, go there. So Jyoti, you also do the same thing now. Fine, go there. So I will not say US one <clears throat> in a production instance. She is doing it like that. She is unable to understand why nothing is coming. I don't. She is unable to put it all on the requisition actually. Go there. Management business unit is one. Go there. Legal unit is what drop down. It will be coming now. So once when your org is having a LEB association, that is the only correct org actually. Your org has to have a LEB association. Remember, that is very very important. So the headquarters is okay, fine. The operation headquarters is already tied. Fine, that is already tied is already made. Fine, that is okay. But this LEBU will come only if it is an inventory management and not an item management. Thank you for the next one. Ali, tell me, tell me. Generally, when we create item or we select inventory management. Don't create item or get all. I am telling you again and again. Fine, do not go to the item or get all. Item or is not for supply chain. It is for CRM. CRM. Fine, don't don't argue on this one. I know create item org and I am putting it as this thing that thing. Please don't create it. Okay. It usually in in some of the companies that I work for, they have a separate sourcing organization where they. Yeah, yeah. The item org has got multiple functionalities, but for pure supply chain, don't create item org because if you if you for inventory org it works perfectly. I am not very sure about how to make it work now. Fine for item org, I don't know how to work. So, but inventory org will definitely work. Please keep make everything as a. If you have uh, obtained the proficiency, then you can try it. Otherwise, item org will definitely work. Item org is a new concept in uh, yeah, new concept. Yeah. In it is not there in few years at all. It's a new concept. Okay. I will offer the schedule as operations. Fine, go that way. Otherwise, the LEB association will not be there in item org. That the LEB association is not there. And then, uh, uh, that is mainly meant. I, I have attended training in the headquarters. They told me item org is only for CRM, not. CRM. For, they told me CRM. CRM modules will be using the item org and not for supply. Then after that, I never ask any question at all. That's it. I never touched it at all. And if you know about how to use item org along with yours, then it's okay. But if you're getting help, well, like Jyoti is already held up now. So click on seven close. Now the operations will now come on the configure requisition. No, no, this is vision instant. Somebody had fiddled it. Um, no, Oracle themselves have said it wrongly. I don't know why Oracle is setting like this. Now what I will do is I will now go to the configure requisition. Configure. Positioning. There may be a possibility for using item or also, but I am not aware of it. I am not aware about how to use it actually. So, if you don't, is there an invent? Is there an inventory org they have created for just you know validation purposes alone? Maybe something they might have done. I don't know. Now, if you go and put OPE, it will come. No, fine. Right? They might have done something, but I don't know how they are doing it. Fine. Right? So, please use this method in the field also. If you are not sure about it. You keep your master org as inventory org, and then populate it. Then every item will now come on your everywhere, right? wherever you put it, because it's going to validate. Every item will be available in the master org, and then you are using an item org. You are taking a risk. Now. I have not told you the workaround now. Right? If you are using item org, how to convert it and then bring it back over the requisition will right? you now coming. Click on seven close. Anna, this uh, will be done uh, only do at the beginning of the implementation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the beginning of the implementation, that's it. If you are having a master org as item org. Ask somebody. I don't know how to use it. Though. I don't know, but this will work definitely. That's what I'm saying. This much I know. Got Jodi? You got it now? Uh, Jodi, after having changed, is it working for you? Uh, yeah, it was coming there, but still having some issues. I will see today. <laughs> still having some other issues also. Yeah. So she is already stuck on so many issues, but she has already converted the item org into inventory org, and then she has solved this problem. But somewhere else she is stuck. I don't know where exactly the problem is. Again. It's a very tough topic. Now, uh, no, no, sir. Considering EBS, you, uh, operation was the master org, right? So yeah. here, uh, the master org. Yes. So here, uh, why this workaround to make? Uh, there is no concept of item org in EBS, and then they have introduced it, and then people have started using it with half knowledge. Item org is a big concept, and then they, it's mainly for CRM. And then if you want to use it for supply chain. Please again go through some documents and then do it. Otherwise, use it as an inventory org. No harm at all. Create a master org as inventory org. I mean, I don't even know why. If you are not knowledgeable on using the item org, please do it as an inventory org. My master org as an inventory org. I will not come out of it. I will not log in as a catalog. Any doubts? Any other doubts? It may work. I am not sure about it, but this master org will definitely work. This much I know. So with item org also you want to make it work uh, and if you know it it's good 
now let me go on the login sir sir i have one question can we create uh, i mean i think we can create inventory org as a validation org also right no 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 inventory org is not created in the validation org you are mentioning there in the configure repositioning function and then configure procurement function which is your org when validation org you are mentioning it so there is no such question of creating a validation org then any org can be a validation org i have already discussed upon this how to have a child org also as a validation org i have already discussed watch my records yeah yeah right. child org also maybe a they are all very high level concepts and then use it as a master is a very simple one 99% of the implementation will not be using only the master org as a right account very rarely you will not go for other ones now go there hello j10 at underscore at b i am not aware about how to work on uh, the item org actually so if you know then you use it otherwise this is the best method i am telling make the master org as inventory org it will work perfectly now we are going to begin our activity on catalog administration right if you go to the home click on go there so we know how to operate so go to this place and then here i will not go to the procurement and then we are given only the catalog administrator role fine click on it fine so by default every bu is a client bu and then these client bus will be having a requisitioning and receiving this is called a self service right so when you enable the procurement uh, what about the requisition these two will be coming along with that we have a catalog at bit thank you for this so the catalog administrator is going to set up the what about the ssp now thank you for it so there are three main activities which he has to set up the three main activities are set so if you click on the task cursor he has now come to the catalog administrator right so the first activity is what catalog category hierarchy is going to set so this is a very big work and then this is going to distinguish about who can purchase what actually this is going to discuss every kind of who can purchase what so go there so first of all on the root category i will now create a browsing category let me go on the thing below the root category thing you can have a hierarchy of categories here hierarchy of categories is not possible in supply chain remember it is not possible and then it is possible only on self service market hierarchy can be created so here the category catalog category uh, relationship is different from so your normal procurement normal procurement is also having what catalog category so that is a single level here it is a multiple level remember you should not compare this with that and they are different but we are going to link everything click on plus one we'll go there so let us now create what jaden underscore computer browsing <laughs> browsing and computer browsing so take a copy it and then put the description of it so i will not put a image url on this so we'll go there we'll put a image url for the computer browsing now go back level <clears throat> so is a thumbnail i will go back on level i know that so computer browsing i am going to use computer browsing dot jpg is a browsing you know find the browsing one you know take no wait so here if you don't put the correct url it will not fail actually it will not be failing actually so go there so if you don't put the correct url it will not fail actually you know it will not fail correct yeah. yeah. so you have to put the correct url this is where my sanjay was having a problem if you go there the image has to come now So give a tap. The image has to come. But now we got the image. So if the image is not coming, it will not be coming. So what he has done is he has hired the Amazon Web Services and he has uploaded all the images in the images directory of the Web Services. He don't know how to do it on the images of the what happens your URL actually. When if anybody knows about how to upload, he has got around five hundred six hundred images to be uploaded on the client side. So the client doesn't know that it is all coming from Amazon basically. <coughs> so that is the thing. The concept is closed. So now it is not done. So we have now created a computer browsing category. So below which I am now going to create two more categories. I expand it, select it, and then let me create one desktop browsing and then one laptop browsing category. Select it. <coughs> you select the line, <coughs> then go there. So click on plus now. If anybody knows about on that particular point of item or usage, please educate all of us now, right? uh, because I am not very sure about it or how to use it. So if you are still successful with the item or of a master or, please educate all of us. <coughs> i will say desktop is but if you make it as a master i am sure that everything will work properly item or all is there inventory or it will work so i will not say desktop browsing go that click on it i will not take up the desktop browsing. i will not take up the computer browsing now i will not go to the desktop browsing i will not take up the desktop browsing desktop browsing is the one i will not take a copy i have not written the name also as a browsing right that will be easy for us to understand actually the whole place Where is it? Using where? So I don't know where. Put the URL and give a tap. The image has to come. Browsing is coming. 
So desktop browsing is now created. So below the computer, I will now add one more browsing also. Fine. If you expand it, you will now find below the computer category, what happens? You will have a desktop browsing. I will now add a laptop browsing also below this one. Fine. The hierarchy has to be exactly in the computer. I will now go there. I will now add print to control form. I will now add a laptop browsing. JTL underscore laptop browsing. Laptop browsing. Take away. Jyoti, once when the problem is solved, please inform everybody about what are the things, who are, any useful information to the participants you just give. Okay. Laptop browsing. So, laptop browsing. I'm not taking copy of laptop browsing. Go to this place. No place is you are over here. The image will be coming. So, click on seven course. So, we are now created one computer and then one desktop and laptop. Now, I'm now going to link it to the inventory catalog category. I'm not going to link it to the inventory category. So, desktop, I will not keep it. Fine. I will now insert the item category. Item categories are inventory is catalog category. So, below the computer browsing, I have one desktop browsing and then one laptop browsing. Keep your cursor on the desktop browsing and then I will now insert the item category, which is nothing but an inventory catalog category. Select it. I will now insert item. The top, you have insert item category. So below this, what happens? I will now put the JTEN. JTEN is the one. I'm going to search it. I'm going to search it. Right. So JTEN has got this many. I will now insert a desktop. So click on. So this is the item level category. Remember, it is an inventory supply chains category. So click on apply and then click on them. That is the leaf level of a category. In a category, we can have multiple one browsing below each other browsing, and then finally the leaf level is what item category. This is known as item category. Below which we cannot have it. So we cannot have anything at all. So we will now add one more what happens your visiting code also. Below the desktop, I'm going to add the visiting code also. Select it and then let me add the visiting code also. Click on the item item categories and then let me add what the visiting codes also. Select and click on apply and then so there's no that. So visiting yes, Sarah, this is the hierarchy you explained that uh, exactly. catalog is collection of categories and uh, categories collection of items. Exactly, exactly. In that so we cannot go. catalog to category to item is a is a hierarchy. Here yes. we can have any number of any levels. <laughs> this depth depends upon this configuration actually. The depth yeah. of this one, fine, go there. It all depends upon this one. Fine, how many people are there? For whom, whom, what are all the things they can purchase? This is the other way. The very big exercise actually. So some companies will be even having more than 1,000 employees who are now in different, different places. And then the management will say, this guy can buy this, this, this guy can buy this, this. So you have to, first of all, draw, draw an Excel sheet on which who can buy what. And then accordingly, we have to decide how many browsing categories are required. The number of browsing categories required when based upon everyone, you have to sit, sit and then think and then do it. Now, that is the biggest job of a consultant. So once they decided the hierarchy, now I will give a very simple example. When computer has got desktop and browsing visiting cards, desktop has got what? The desktop and visiting cards. And then I will now go to the laptop and then I will now put only laptop. So visiting card and desktop item categories are associated with the desktop browsing now. I will now choose the laptop and then associate it. Put the laptop. And then here I will now associate, I will now insert only one. one. I click on the insert item categories. I will now insert the laptop. So with a simple example, it is easy. But in reality, you will not find a lot of difficulty in configuring it actually. So go there and then it will not show where is my own here. JTEL. No go there. So go there. So what I will do is I will now make it a future category. In the top, what happens? We have a future category. So we'll now make it as a future category. That will be coming on the uh, whatever the request is place itself. Right? Select it. And then here I will now make it as a future category. So computer browsing, I'm now making it as a future category. And then once when you make it below which you will have what uh, the desktop and then with which whatever we'll be having two item categories of right? desktop and visiting cards. So the the you know, what is called your requester can see this computer browsing and then if he has got a power to access it, then he can now see whether the desktop as well as visiting cards also he can view it. Actually. There is no necessary for us to make it as a what future category on this thing for because computer is more sufficient. Again, this all depends upon how you are going to configure it. In my in my example, I'm now going to give what. Uh, for the em Madras employee, I will not give a laptop. And then for the Bombay employee, I will not give computers itself. That means what? The Madras employee can only buy a laptop. Right? Whereas the Bombay employee can buy what? A desktop, a visiting card or a laptop. All he can buy. Right? So we are going to associate the employee to the appropriate hierarchy level depending upon this setup. What are all the people who are going to buy so, what is the importance of feature category? No, I'll tell you what I, what I got the importance of. Have you understood this concept of mine? 
who can buy what based upon which you are going to create the hierarchy in my example the madras man can buy only laptop laptop browsing is there from what i have no go there i have associated the uh, not it associated from what i have known the laptop browsing i have not attached from there i will not select this laptop and then go there inside the item category for this one i am going to associate what laptop when click on apply and then click on done let me save it okay so no done now let me save it actually i, I thought that i have already done the laptop is not on thing so below the desktop your desktop and missing got laptop is a lot of so let me give a save now okay done this okay now okay. actually we'll again come back done and come back so remember this hierarchy creation is the biggest job on category catalog category this is the biggest uh, uh, can you open that page uh, the sheet of madras and bombay yeah one second one second one second let me go and make a check of mine expand it now see so the computer has got desktop and laptop if you expand the desktop you'll be having what desktop and listing got if you expand the laptop you'll be having only laptop oh god laptop is not coming how come it is not there at all it is there it will be there okay so this is now done so let us now show there yeah tell me what exactly is your question come on You don't have any questions here. No, no, no. Tell me. Yeah. So as per this, Bombay can buy laptop, visiting card, and desktop. Exactly. Bombay man can buy laptop, visiting card, and desktop. Whereas this guy can buy only laptop. Remember. And the scenario you created. Yeah. The so one is one is uh, desktop category and one is laptop yeah. category. Yeah, yeah. So how desktop person can buy laptop one? Yes, you have given him like this, now, right? I am not going to associate this level for the Bombay man. Whenever I associate anything, whatever is below, he can buy. Whatever. Okay. Is, whatever is the below, he can buy. Fine. I will not associate only the laptop browsing the Madras man. So whatever below only he can buy. He can buy only laptop. Got it? So we are going to assign different different levels to different different employees. And then that assignment will not become based upon your discussion in the field. Now, right? Five hundred, six hundred people. Everybody can buy what, what, and then accordingly you have to create the hierarchy. Got it? So this is a very big task. If you have around five hundred thousand employees, creating this browsing category and then item category is a big task because we have to assign different employees at different different levels depending upon what the company is saying. They may allow visiting cards for every employee. So you can even put on every browsing a visiting card also. You can add visiting cards also. Yeah, browsing can be added. The item category can be added to every because normally visiting cards will be purchased by everybody. Likewise, you have to think and then do it. This is not an easy task. Remember, creating this hierarchy of catalog and categories on the SSP is a real tough task. Yes. No, is it is it not uh, based on uh, employees' position and not uh, yeah, based on employees? Based upon employees' position only. The higher man. A man, a bigger man can buy almost everything. A smaller man will be restricted to buy. Okay, yes, so, uh, so you are saying that uh, we'll be assigning this uh, catalog category for each employee. Can't we assign it to a position like marketing manager and the sales representative? Not sure about it. How to do it all? Fine. As of now, this system allows you only by user level and not uh, by position level is not there at all. The position level it is not there. You cannot assign it to position only by user level. Right? There are three levels are there. Right. Only everybody can access everything. Another what? Those who are belong to the BU can do it. Otherwise, user level. Right. There are only three levels. There is no position level at all for assignments. Position level assignment is not there. I tell you, people have worked for very many nights in uh, doing this catalog category. If your uh, volume of work is very huge, actually. So I am now allowing the computer browsing as a what are the future category. Laptop browsing also as a future category. The two are only future. The remaining I am not including at all. But it then we have to load it manually, is it? Or uh, there is a way. I only only you have to write it. Okay. I don't know whether we have an automated means or not. Any MBD template is there or not? I'm not sure about it. It's a very tough task. That only I know. Field level laborious task. Actually. So I now made that what's called your computer browsing as a future category, and then the laptop browsing as a future category. So whenever the SSP requester is no going over there, these two will be visible actually. This two will be visible for him to what happens to make a purchase. Actually. What is the use of your future, sir? The futures will come to them. Will come to them. We are ready to come to them. I am going to modify this also. And wherever the tick mark is there, that means what the figures are available. This tick mark says what image is available. 
and many a people will ask images at every place you know, they will ask you for image my desktop is not showing you but uh, desktop browsing is there my desktop is an item category item category will not show but the browsing it will not show item category level it will not show the image basically but the browsing level at least you have to have the image imaging has been given for every browsing edge the image is available you will come to this spot again then you will understand it in a better extent so i have done the catalog category association now what i am going to do is i will now go and then what you go there click on it and now go there i will now direct side there are three important activities one is what the catalog category then catalog right then catalog and then content source catalog category hierarchy catalog and content source are the three important activity of a cat admin actually you will now go on and do the next one right go to the manage catalogs you know what is the catalog so click on catalog you want to get so click on what there are three types of catalogs are there right one is the local catalog one is the punch out and one is the information so we are now going to create a local catalog right? click on the create local catalog i'm going to pay i'll be giving local catalog procurement view is what drop down and then uh, this catalog admin is not having any we are not making him as a procurement agent because of it is not coming so let us now make him as a procurement agent so let us now make him as a procurement agent or can you explain what is local catalog we will be doing it while i'm doing it i will explain now go there click on it go there i will not go on the make him as a procurement agent first of all <clears throat> click on it i will click on such i am going to make it as a procurement agent is a managed percentage procurement percentage uh, agent not be made as an agent then we are just only created on click on it let us now make him as an agent so then only he can be in a position to do it now so i long you plus now <clears throat> So plus is not a so is use one use one of the one the agent name is what cat admin cat underscore admin and then comma so and so on last name comma first name and so on what is cat admin is what I go there is that use one of the one I have no making my full access by everybody okay everything will be full. Access on. We were saving to us. Now we can very well. What happens? We do a catalog creation. So catalog is going to have restrictions actually. If I drop it down, your procurement view will be done. You cancel and then come out again. No matter what. Now again, go to the manage catalog. Click on that. So I now click on create local catalog. When you do it, it will be the view is now already done. I will say J ten local catalog. Local catalog. So, how you want to have it in the catalog? Catalog will be having a content. This is basically called catalog content management. Actually. So, what are all the things you want to have it? You include item with all agreements. This is a normal one. If an item is having an agreement, that will be included. If it is not having an agreement, that will not be included. That is the best way. And then you can even go for other things. Right? Item include item with specific agreements. You can now say, say which agreement number here is it? Right? Which agreement number here is it? And add it to the action itself. Otherwise, what happens? We normally choose whenever we have an item with an agreement, we normally add it to the local catalog, right? exclude and all on. So this is the best one, right? Depending upon this one, you include all item master items. Right? This is another thing, but they all act as a filters actually. This is a filter. This is a filter actually. Yeah. Then here, what happens? Include item from all categories or include item from specific categories. So normally you will not restrict it by specific categories. Right? Click on it. So I will now create a local catalog. So I will now say a local catalog. Uh, I will now create what the local catalog is there. <clears throat> One second. Uh, okay. This is now going to include what I will now include all the categories. This local catalog is going to include all the categories. One second. I may even change it because I am not very sure. But forgot that actually. <laughs> I will now put it when the intro item of specific categories. I may even change it. Okay. Sorry. Let me add all the three categories. Whatever you add. Change it. Maybe I may have to create one more catalog also. I'm not sure about the text also. Forgot about the text. Go there, click on it. I will know what. Go there. So I will now say browsing category. I'm going to add it. Okay, okay, okay. And then I will now add the browsing. I will now add the laptop category. Laptop browsing also. So this include all the items. Right. Your laptop, desktop, and the listing cards are getting added by these three things. So I'm not sure about it. I may have to remove that. So my local catalog will have. The two inventory items and then one non-catalog item. Visiting card is a non-catalog item because of these two additions. So my local catalog is now created. Save and close. Now I will now create a content zone. 
Now, likewise, what happens? We'll be getting so many catalogs. We'll be coming, be coming back to again this place. Not again. We'll be again coming back to this place. So you hadn't added visiting card? No, visiting card is already added. No, it's already added. If you go there, you click on our JTAG. Where is the JTAG? Open it up. It comes under computer browsing. The computer browsing. Yes. The computer browsing itself. We have the visiting card. Desktop and visiting cards are coupled together on the computer browsing itself. So it has got two item categories. What is what? Desktop item category as well as a visiting card item category. So both of them are added. So click on. So go there. Click on local category. Now we will now create a content zone. Content zones are basically employee specific. Sometimes if it is employee specific, it is a huge job. Find an employee means what? Find a content zone. You have to create. So go there. Click on it. You will now go there. Click on it. You will now go there. Go to the place. Manage content zones. So here the catalogs are basically restrictive in nature. If you go there in the catalog, where is my data? So it says what it acts as a filter. So everything will act. As, this is the filter. This is the filter. So it has to pass through all the filters and then what are all the eligible items which are eligible for the employee? It designs actually. It designs all these things. So I give a generic one. Item agreement is there, and then these two categories means what? Almost all the three items are coming up. Fine. You have to even restrict also, right? depending upon the requirement. You have to restrict also. Use uh, multiple different combinations than the sheet. So catalog is basically restrictive in nature. Whereas content zones are additive in nature. Content zones are additive in nature. Thank you very much. Now go on and get our content zone. Manage content zones. Thank you very much. We are now going to get a content zone. So click on plus and then let me create a content zone. I will now say JTAG. Let's go. What happens? We now say uh, a yeah, content zone for employee work. Jaden content. You are naming convention very properly. EMP two. I know, but EMP two. I am going to be different. So it is a requisitioning content zone. I go there. Catalog. I will not add it. I go there. Click on search map. Go there. Click on search map. So here, uh, I have to add only. I have to create two, two catalog. I think yes. I have to create two one. So one catalog is not sufficient. Actually, cancel it. So let me create two catalogs. I go there. I will not give a cancel. Okay. Let me create two catalogs. Those guys. So by the way, I was not remembering it actually. How to do all this? Thing. Go to the manage catalogs. Let me split it up into two catalogs. <clears throat> I will now local catalog. I will now create. I will now make a change in the name also. I will now local uh, catalog. I will now say EMP two. EMP two. So EMP two only uh, laptop is allowed. Thank you. That's point. I will now delete. So laptop for the EMP two. Thank you. I will save and close one. And then desktop and everything for the EMP two. So click on create now. Let me create now. And then actions. And then click on the create local catalog. And then I will now say JTAG. So that is a catalog EMP three. So just for understanding, because I am putting the name, but in reality you work on very properly. So include items from all category. Include items with a specific category. And then for I will now add what computer browsing. Computer browsing allows you to do everything now. JTAG. And then I will now go to the computer browsing and go to it. Click on apply and then click on the button by which the button. Right, possible catalog name you can change. That is what it. Right? That you do. Uh, whatever it is, right? Uh, the catalog name itself. I know. Oh, what do you want to have it? Right? Uh, spelling. Oh, yeah, catalog spelling. So J then computer find EMP three. Okay, that's okay. Ah, is it? EMP three has got a computer browsing and then EMP two has got only laptop browsing. Click on save and close. Now let me create two content zones. So that means what? This work is also big actually. Creating a catalog and then content zones are big. You will now go to this place, go to the manage content zones, and then here you will now go there and then see. So I will now create what I will now have to first create my first uh, use one content zone, use one everything. Like that. I will now create my J10. So content zone is what J10 underscore uh, what happens? Your uh, C O N T E N T, and then I will now say E M P T. So E M P T one. I will now actions and then self add a catalog. But they are additive in nature actually. J10. Whereas catalogs are restrictive in nature, so I will not for EMP two. I will not put what uh, EMP two. You know, this is the one. No? Click on apply. So that is EMP two. EMP two. I will add it. Click on the one. No, no. Then public shopping is to be added. Smart forms will be added. Security is what I am going to secure my worker. If this comes, you will be have to do that many content zone for every worker. Remember, it can be available for all. Yeah, or the requisitioning views, or remember the secured by requisitioning view all. This is available to all requesting you are only for one BU or one new worker. No. In this case, if this is the case, it will be a very big work for you. Sort it, and then let me add the EMP two, and then click on search of my EMP two JTAG. I'm going to add it. So go there. Now the JTAG. Ah, where is the PR? Speed is not here. Here, right? Yeah. 
Why two are coming basically? Everything is same. No? What is this? Why it's now coming as two entries? No? You have to find the click on apply and click on So this content zone is applicable only for this employee. And then he can now see the catalog will be visible, the public shop list will be visible, the smart forms will be visible for you. So the, the three things are additive, and then security is basically restriction. What is that? So you now create what? EMP2 uh, content zone. So click on save and close. Let us now create the next content zone. We'll now go there. We'll now Anna, go. This the content zone has usage, requisitioning, and procurement. We'll come um, to procurement later. We'll come to the procurement, we'll to the procurement also later. So, or whatever is the content zone EMP3. Like the same content you can add two MPs, right? So by yeah, 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 you can add that's what I'm saying. Like. There are field level decisions you have to add, you can add n number of employees also. So you're creating uh instead of creating new prepared uh, content zone. Uh... No, no, see he, he's having a different catalog, no? How I can do it now? Okay, okay. EMP3 will be having a different catalog, no? So I cannot add it there. Got it? So here we're going to have what different catalog. So I will not put what uh here what's called a local. This catalog I'm going to associate. So this one I'm going to associate. Catalog is different. So that has got all the powers. Got it? And then I will not associate the EMP3. Got it? So secure by or not the requisition These all are the local catalog only. Now we are to come to the now fine. Gradually we are developing now. Now we are discussing only on the local catalog. So it will be MP3 now. MP3 and then click on search. You now gradually develop. I want you to one of the employees. Click on apply and then click on that. So it is now done. Okay. Click on apply and then click on the file. So now we have now done the uh, employee base. What happens? We are not done it now. So we have completed the setups of what? Catalog category hierarchy, catalogs, and then content zones. That's it. Now we are going to log in as an employee. EMP2 employee will log in. So this is now complete. So let us now log in with the EMP2. EMP2 employee. So you can buy only laptop, remember. You can only buy laptop. Nothing else you can buy. Take a copy of it. You will now go to the Opera browser and then log in as EMP. So we have completed the basic activity of what? Catalog category hierarchy and then the catalogs and then content zones. So J10 underscore EMP2. It is welcome on to three. And then we are logging in and signing. This guy is now signing. So he has now come. He will now go to the procurement now and the procurement. And then the procurement, I will now go to the purchase requisition. He is now opening the purchase requisition. So go there and then I will not drop down the shop by category. I will not drop down shop by So he has got everything coming up over here now. Fine. I will know we are now concentrating on this now. Fine. Expand the computer browsing and go there. So if you go to the laptop browsing, you expand it. You will not have a laptop. Fine. Click on the laptop. You will not see the thumbnail image of the laptop. You will not have a look at the thumbnail image of the laptop. So you're not seeing the price also. He will know he has desired to buy this now. Fine. If you click on it, it will not show on the next level. What are the specifications of this one? So the category name is so and so, the supply is so and so, this thing, this thing, everything it will not show. If you click on the attachments, it will not show the attachment also. It will not show you the attachment. The JPG image only. It will not show the attachments, the JPG image only. We have to attach only that one. If you go to the supplier information, it will not go to the appropriate one. This is not coming properly for me. I don't know why it's so. Then also I checked it. Oracle Nano.com is my website, and then that my website is not coming properly. And the supplier information not coming. If you go to the manufacturer's information, Oracle to Oracle.com. Oracle.com, that is also not coming properly. So we had analyzed all this. Thing. So you will now look at all these information and then he will know decide, okay, I will now buy this. He, he, there's a price break also to double. So these are all the information which he is having. So you will now say add to cart now. Right? Click on the add to cart, it will now get added to the cart. So he is now getting added to the cart. <clears throat> But he has not got powers to what? Your uh, uh, desktop and then visiting cards, he cannot do. So, you know, adding to cart. If you click on the drop down under the shop by category, we cannot see, is it? Wait, one second. 
it is now added to the cart fine goes that i will now remove it from the cart so i will now remove it from cart fine we will not try to professor do the desktop he is not having the power right close it now fine you will not go that it is now removed from the cart so how to go back then click on done and come on so here you drop down and then if you go and then see this now computer browsing is there right drop it down and then yet i will now open up the desktop he is not having the power to do the desktop at all so you click on the desktop here what about the desktop is now coming if you click on the desktop you will now see whether he is able to do it or not then click on add to category and add to cart right there is some yeah i understood the mistake now it is getting added so the mistake is i will not will not correct the mistake actually you will not correct the mistake he is able to see the desktop and then he is able to cart and stop it also because many people have created the content zones let me disable everybody's content zone see let us now go up to 840 So today we will have some amount of completion. Actually, fine. Please excuse me. No, I am not going to have ten minutes extra. Up to eight forty, I will be ready. So he is able to shop on this also, but he is not allowed at all. Fine. We are going to restrict that. So what I am going to do? I will now go back to the main one. So here we will do. So we have multiple content zones. They are allowing him to shop. Let me eliminate everything of it except mine. Where is mine? My date and content zone. Content zone A P two and A P three must be there. The remaining must be eliminated. Let me go to Ram 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 Ji. one kind of zone you know see what he has configured is a catalog is using it nothing other than and then he is now doing it by business unit so everything is coming up on this now let me secure it by worker you can secure your worker this is for business unit i'm going to restrict it fine go to self net let me uh, you know use what is ava clark right c l a r k let me query ava clark i will not restrict to the employee so that employee can only use this no fine i will not choose clark ava and then go there click on apply and then he may be shouting on me because i already changed it now <laughs> so his uh, what's called ram ram ji content zone will not be visible at all only for ava clark only it will be visible i made a change i click on seven also likewise let me bypass it because it's a vision so we we have no other go everybody other content zone has to be removed now i click on it and now go to the next content zone and then let us no bypass it you know having something here again what about circle broker okay, this is okay this is going to be working only for ava clark Fine. Okay. This we don't have to touch at all. Fine. If it is not going to affect us, leave it. Thank you. Cancel. Next one is what the rec content zone. Thank you. The second one we are seeing. The third one we are seeing. Fine. Click on it. The rec content zone we are going to see. Go there. Click on it. And then here, so many catalogs are added. And again, what happens is now having use one business unit. Fine. Make a chain. No fine. This will also be affecting us. Fine. So what actions are we going to start planning? Since we are working on a vision, we are doing it. No fine. I will not choose the Ava Clark so that this will not affect at all. Play and then click on that. Later on, when they come, they will not make a change. No, right? you please do it fast. Otherwise, what happens? Somebody might have changed on this. No, right? <laughs> when you are testing it, so this rec control zone is there. So I have done Ram Ram G. That has gone to the top. No, whatever I am doing, it is not going to the top. So control zone master items. You know, again, see that all the four. I think I have done all the four or not. Uh, you know, open Ram Ram G. I did it. I go there and then have a look. The worker assignment we can see, Nana sir. Huh? In the worker third, assignment. Third one. Third one, I think. third one is not done now okay then so third one us one procurement the usage though right yeah, yeah worker assignment okay fine available to all procurement users no 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 go oh, that on it i will not make a change okay go to ava clark again ava clark i think i have done it everything now so click on apply and then click on done okay others are not displayed now disabled now let me log out of log out boy no others will not appear only my content zones are going to be affecting now so let us go there and then let us now log out come on down. I will not go there. So the list itself, others will not be coming. You got it. Let me sign out and sign in. Now. Sign out, and then let me sign in. Now, now others have been disabled. Now. So let me sign in. Jaden underscore EMP two. He can only buy what laptop only. Welcome on. Click on sign in. So one of the content zones had usage as um, procurement. Why did we have? We are ready to come to that. We are ready to come to the topic. Wait, wait, wait. We are ready to come to the topic. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking why we had to disable that. Okay. No, no, no. That's okay. Uh, I, I'm ready to come to the topic. I disabled it actually. Fine. So even though now, if you drop it down, you should. You need not have to be done. Fine. Then you want to drop it. No more that. See, only one is coming. The remaining are all gone. And if you expand it, if you go and expand it, you know, see, only laptop is coming. Desktop is not coming at all. Because he is eligible for the desktop laptop. Right? So that you want, and then go there. You want. I will not click on the laptop, and then go there, and then he is going to shop on the laptop. He don't click on it. So whatever he is eligible for only will be displayed, and then click on it, and then he can add to cart. Click on add to cart. That's coming. Welcome. I will now remove the cart. 
So you understood now, fine. That procurement, you are very correct. That is not required now, fine. That will be required later actually. The procurement content zone is required later, but I just disabled. And by the time we come over here, somebody would have enabled it. And so many things will be coming on the list now. <laughs> this is all the problem when you are working on the vision actually, because if many people are working, then you will have it. You will say, sir, just now I did it, but why so many are coming now? <laughs> you ask. <laughs> if you go back and then see, somebody might have made it now. Now, if you go to the what's called done, click on done. In the main area, the future categories, this many are coming. I am not going to use only mine. Now, find the remaining Amazon, office technology services. I don't want it as a top categories or nothing but future categories. Let me remove others now. Let me go and remove it. So click on done. You will now remove others, future future categories. Let me have only mine. You go to the manage catalog category. So whatever is the future category, I will now remove it. I will have only mine. So go there, click on it, and then go there. I will now remove the office technology. Go now. I will now remove what the services. I will now remove the telecom. I will now remove. So the computer browsing is only there. In the computer browsing also, what happens? I now put the laptop browsing also. So I am now having only two things, which is as a top categories or future categories. The remaining are all removed. So click on it. Click on done. You know, now we'll now go to the login of the EMP domain. We'll now we'll go to the login of the domain. We'll again simulate this. So this many should not come at all. Only two has to come. So you'll now go to what home icon and then I'll again come back. Go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition. Go to the purchase requisition. So if you you see only two are coming. Now can I go to the computer browsing and then buy something? Anybody? No, because it's not the same the category. No, no, no not for. Oh, it's hundred percent correct. Because no. you don't have any powers to this. Even though it's coming on the top categories, if you click on the computer browsing, what happens? We go on and see here. What happens? Only laptop is coming. The computer browsing has got all the things: desktop, visiting cards, and laptop. Only laptop will be visible. Got it? Why is it yeah. even? Uh, is it, why is it even? You know, showing there, sir. If we have not given him. The top categories will always show. Whatever you enable there in the top categories, it will all show. The future category. Yeah, yeah, future category. The future category will be listed as a top category. Got it? So the two future category. So if you go ahead, it has got laptop inside because it's a higher one. But if it has got only desktop, what will come now? Right? Let us say the computer browsing has got only desktop, not laptop. Then if I click on it, what will come now? Right? Anybody? Desktop. Desktop will come. Yes. No, not... no, and, and visiting card. And visiting card. And visiting card. So let us say the computer uh, browsing has got desktop, laptop has got laptop only. Let us say computer has got uh, what I was saying, desktop, and then this has got laptop, laptop only. Then if I click on it, what will come? Nothing will come. Nothing. Got it now? And nothing will come. <laughs> if you configure only with the desktop and then no visiting cards, and then here only laptop means what? If you click on it, nothing will come. Got it? So here we are done it because of which what happened? The laptop is coming. Uh, can you come again? The scenario. <laughs> See, uh, we have given him power. What EMP two has got power to buy only laptop. Yes. Not having power to buy desktop and visiting cards at all. Yes. Right. So this computer is having laptop also. That is why when I click on the laptop is visible here. Yeah. Had I given only desktop to the computer category, if I click on it, nothing will come. Had I given only visiting card to the category, also nothing will come for EMP two. Got it? Yes. Okay, so this is now clear on this now. So shopping category will not show or the uh, computer browsing is not showing you, and then laptop browsing and then laptop. So the hierarchy is not showing you here. The desktop and visiting cards are not coming here. Well. In the top categories also it is there. If he is not eligible for any of the top categories, nothing will come in there. Remember, and are you able to understand the complexity which you have to work on this now? Right? So this is a real, real big job of what happens. Who has to buy what, and then how to create the catalog category hierarchy. Now, if you go on then log in as EMP3, I will not log in as what EMP3, not this one. Now go there. So let us not log in as EMP3. I will not log in as EMP3. <clears throat> Click on it. Remember, it's a very laborious job. People used to shout like a sir, first guy is coming on me because it doesn't have any big value addition or anything. You have to sit, sit, and then create the hierarchy properly. So go there. So J10, let's go EMP3. Welcome on the page. You simulate in whatever way you want, and then accordingly test it. Actually, I've done some simulation, and then if you want to have a different simulation, you do it. You go to the procurement, and then I go to the purchase requisition. Now, I go to the purchase requisition, and then here you go there. So both the things are coming. So if you click on it, what happens? Can you see visiting cards or not? That's my question. 
can you see visiting cards or not? Sure. Huh? Sure. Yes. Right? We yes. can even see. Yes. 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 This, is, this, is, yes. Yes. this is EMP3. This is yes. eligible for everything. Yes. Everything. Right? If you stop with it, when the computer browsing, when we expand it, it will not show both the desktop. Desktop has got two items. It will be showing laptop. Has, so he is eligible for everything. It is not visible on the shop category. So if you click on it also in the top categories, you can choose both the things. From it. Everything, all the three are visible. If you click on the visiting cards, it will be coming on this list. Visiting cards, and then you will not add to cart. Click on add to cart, it will not say how oh, amount is different. Click on add to cart, it will not get added to the cart. So the item level category is coming here. And remember the magnitude of work. If the, if the people are more than doing now, it is a very very tough task. It's not an easy task at all. <coughs> Okay, fine. And then again on the requisitioning front, what happens? You have to put the master now, fine. Jodi, once when you have solved your problem, it has to come like this now, fine. Everything has to come away. Yes. So I have now explained to you about the top categories. And then, no, no, what happens? We can even query on so many searchable fields. We can even. So let's say I'm not going to 522 If you go there, 522 I'm going to query, fine. And then BPA number, you can query very well. So when you query, it automatically shows you the BPA's item. So you go there. We can even query certain fields now. Right? Can you tell me some of the fields on this topic? Right? One auxiliary has been given. Right? Ox, then you would have. Right? Yeah, is auxiliary means only on the laptop I configured the auxiliary. Remember, or not on the desktop. Got it? And the desktop I have not given anything. What is specific to laptop? Can you send me that one? We will not see whether it is coming or not. So you can even search on the searchable fields, whatever you given now. Right? One, two, three. Find on that item I will not say you can. Yes. Uh, what is it? Full name and then search for it. SPSC. Yes, PSC. If I know the engine now, it may or may not be is searchable field. I will not go on and put whatever I know. Say two space two. I give enough. I know such it. The desktop has to come up. I put it. The two is the desktop actually. There's a no no space. I think maybe when UNSPSC without space two, and then desktop will be coming. It has to come up. Oh God, I have not given anything there. I think I have not given anything. I think you have not given. So if you entered so many fields are basically searchable on this. If you have but you have to end, you cannot uh, you know en enter partial values. It's in. you got to know maybe, the complete. Uh, you try the when the partial value if it was please post in the I've not done it. So on the laptop only so many things are being given now. Fine. So if I you think, uh, things, no no you you entered you and SPC too not SPSC. One second, we will not go on and see this place. No, so we will not go to this place. We will not query the five five two SC. I will not go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase. Uh, what yeah, there was a spelling mistake. The catalog had been done. So it's a catalog. I had to come and then login as what? PRC. I have to sign out now. I will not go and login as PRC 11 actually. There's no login as PRC 11. So we can now see this. So PRC 11. <clears throat> so PRC 11. I have to choose this. So we can sign in. So we are not logging in as PRC 11. And then we will not go and then query the 528C. No, no, no. Go to the what's called procurement now. Procurement, procurement. And then I go to the uh, what's called procurement uh, purchase orders and everything. Like that. And then I will not Maybe, maybe. I will not go to the manager agreements now. 52286 is the one. 52286. Then click on search now. Click on search. And then click on the hyperlink on this. It will not go into edit mode. It will not go into edit mode. It will not go into edit mode. We'll come to the view mode now, actually. In the view mode, we will now go inside the laptop and then have a look. So, laptop, I will now line and then how to see details. Fine, click on the details. So, click on the details, it will now again go to the edit mode. We will now go there. Right? So, what are all the things we have given? Right? We'll go there. So, uh, UNSP, SC, UNSP, SC, UNSP, SC, we go there. Uh, UNSP, SC, enter in now. It is coming. We'll now go there and then have a look at the, what the other item. So the laptop we are done now. I will now go to the desktop and then see this one. The desktop select and then click on the details. Go there. So what I write? UNSPC. 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 I written. I made a mistake. UNSPC space two. Now. <coughs> go there. So UNSPC space two. Okay, go on and click on SPC. Uh, SPC. Ah, okay. SPC space two and the desktop has to come. Come on, it's coming. Got it now, right? So there are certain searchable fields which are there. You can even try on everything, right? Which are all which are all the fields which are searchable actually. 
I have not said desktop alias. No go there. I have not said desktop alias. Desktop. You will have to change it. Okay? A laptop. I will not change it to laptop. Laptop is coming. I will not desktop. Desktop. Yes, it's searchable only. This alias field is searchable. So there are certain fields on the item attributes, they are searchable actually. I will not try with the lead time, eight days is searchable. I will not say six days. Six days maybe for laptop. I think. Six days. I will not, I will not put eight days. No, right? Eight, eight, and then make a search. No, right? So it is not a searchable field. The lead time is not a searchable field. So that all these attributes available at the item level setups, Nana, no, there could be not available at the level. Only at the BPA level it is available, just like in EBS also. In EBS also, it is available only at the BPA level. So here also the same. So okay. certain attributes are searchable. And then when you have so many, when hundreds of BPAs will be there, so it will be easy for the SSP requester to search on which is specific requirement actually. So now these yeah. requests are done for uh Personal point of view or for organizational point of view, it means he can buy for home of license. They will not display, I don't know how they will not communicate. To like there, it was uh, showing Almira, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Almira, he can buy for for home also or for, for organization only. That the organization has to design, they have to put it appropriately. If Almira has to be designed for done for home or whatever it is, whether you are buying it for home or office, it doesn't matter whether it is purchasable or not, is a very important. It has been in the appropriate category. You know, since the last one, no point. J10 laptop long. No point. So let me query if the laptop comes on. You no know, go there. I will long. first of all search on the desktop. No point. Desktop. The desktop will be coming. So I will long go and then paste it. The long description. I will not see if the laptop comes on. Yes, it's coming. Long description is searchable actually. The long description is searchable. So you have to only identify which are all the fields which are searchable, fine, only by making an R&D. And then afterwards, tell the customers that this many fields he can also query. And if you have hundreds of this thing, you have to give a list of all these fields. Actually. You have to take a report and then give it to you. Give it to you know, circulate it to all the requesters. And then based upon it, they will know, query their requirement and then they will know, do the shopping. Part number. Yeah, part number also. So you can even put the part number somewhere in some of the fields, fine, long description somewhere else. And then even the item number also will be basically eligible. Okay? Even if you put what happens, you go there. The item is what? J10. Item itself will be queryable. Okay? J10 underscore uh, laptop, isn't it? And laptop is the one. You go there. It will be queryable. Uh, I will not make J10 underscore desktop. Okay? Desktop. So they are also searchable actually. Desktop is also searchable. So you have to have the list of searchable attributes. And then the item name also will be coming. Item name or item number also will be coming for it. What I will do the shopping. So at this stage, I call it data. I know that I have not taken too much of a time actually. <laughs> oh God. So we will not continue on this discussion tomorrow at 5 30 p.m. India. So Nana, uh, organization will decide key whether you are buying for home appliance or purpose or, or for company purpose. You see, that is not coming under SSP at all. Whether you are buying it for home use or office use, it doesn't matter. That doesn't come under the purview of SSP. Whatever may be the reason, no, right? we don't have a, what's called a separate thing for home. In their case, what happens, you have to create another catalog, catalog category hierarchy. Whether he is eligible for home or home purposes or not, likewise, you have to think and then create a category. Okay. Who will pay, it, pay for this? Huh? Who will pay for this? Somebody will pay. I am Reliance Industries, so I will be paying. They have, Nana will not pay. How come Nana will pay? I am not buying a laptop for Reliance Industries. Reliance Industries has to pay the supplier. Okay. So in that case, if he's a, a new employee, instead of uh, the admin team procuring it, uh, the employee himself is procuring so it. Having a, what's called a, a new hire kit will be coming to tomorrow. So in the new hire kit, whatever is eligible will be available for him. And then that he will now buy and then the company will pay. In your company, when you buy a laptop, did you pay or your company has paid? <laughs> oh, in the, that's what in most of the IT companies. Oh, right? company. See, you're, you're working for your company actually. Whatever you buy for the company, company only has to pay. Why the employer has to pay? No, no, no. Even uh, uh, purchasing also is done by the admin team. Uh, the employee cannot uh, purchase it. Purchasing is a different That's not self service. The demand is raised by the employee, and then the purchase officer is purchasing and then giving it to him. 
I mean, yeah. even even if company is giving some benefits to employee as a personal, they will have, they're supposed to pay as a bill to address. Maybe that is a different one. Fine, we are not talking yeah. on that on that line specifically. Uh, it is a basically a SSP uh, demand raising. Jyoti, is mm-hmm. it? So, Nana, you have given the expense accounts at the employee level, right? Yeah. Is there category-based expense accounts that we can have? Yeah, category-based expense account is also there. Now, I have demonstrated in my uh, videos. Now, right? go on and say category-based expense accounts is also possible. But I have a doubt on this. Now, right? I have no. Uh, uh, there are some restrictions on this because whatever I know on the category-based expense account is very easy in EBS. Here, it is right. really tough. Category based expense account is really tough. And then I have demonstrated it in my procurement training. You just go on and see. But again, there are some, what happens, uh, the things which I don't know on that. I have done it, but that is not correct actually. Okay. You only have to, what happens, uh, go through the document and then again, uh, what happens, add more information. Right? There, something is missing, but nobody is teaching me. Right? So, whatever I know, I taught it. And I have demonstrated also by category based accounting also. You have to set up CAD and TAD. TAD and TAD, you set it up. What happens if you're working properly? I have set it up, that, but that is not sufficient. I know that is not the correct way, but what to do, right? Whatever I know, I have taught. Okay, Nana. Have a look at it. Jyoti, is it clear? Because she is yes. a. No? Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Right? You know, analyze based upon this, no, right? Yes, sir. And then tomorrow also, you'll be able to complete it. Not so, once when you do the other ones. So, catalog category hierarchy is the biggest job in the implementation. You have to think, 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 and explain your levels of hierarchy. And then associate so, corporate level to the appropriate employees. What level of automation is possible here or bulk load is possible here, Nana? Like, uh, maybe, maybe initial setup is for... Uploading the things into the system is not known to me. Right? Whether you can use the... Yeah, the only thing is what FBDA is the only level available. Only through FBDA only you can upload. Right? No other way. And then whether any FBDA is available for each and every catalog of catalog category hierarchy can be uploaded by FBDA. I'm not aware of it. That you are only discussing with people. Okay. Jyoti is already implementing SSP. So talk to her and then depending upon her workload. Uh, Jyoti, how many employees are there in the SSP requesters actually in your in your implementation? How many uh, SSP requesters are there for you? So actually, I'm not working on it. Yeah, but I'm uh, helping someone uh, who is working on it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then have a look at it. Right? How many employees? Yes, uh, yes. Create the catalog category hierarchy also. You have a look at it. Okay, okay. Challenge actually. Nana, in our project, there are 750 requesters. 750 requesters. Okay, so you are saying 750 requesters are in this project. So, you see, when you have to have a content zone for every employee, that you are you creating a content zone by employee or BU level or what are, what are the level you are doing? Uh, no, 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 I am not aware of that. Some, uh, some other okay. guy is looking right now. I, I can check and I will update you. Check it and see how many content zones they are creating. If there is a common one, that means what company is not restricting people from buying anything at all. They are allowing everybody to buy everything. But if they have a restriction, then only you will have to get that many content zones. So, and Nana, our, it, yeah, in our company, we have maintenance personnel buying the indirect uh, material, okay. like machineries. Mm-hmm. They are not expensed. They are actually... You know, that, they are receiving it in the inventory. And that yeah. is... That normally doesn't come under SSP. SSP facilitates inventory result also, but uh, that uh, doesn't come under uh, what happens with this one. Okay, it's not it's not right to actually use the SSP. You're saying the SSP is not correct. You should go for a normal regular purchase. Actually. Yeah, we use I SSP will come into picture right. only when the person is having what procurement requester rule. Got it. Got it. Once again, I I asked the question in the morning. Let me.